Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your Pegasus Astro Falcon Rotator to Nina. Now this piece of hardware comes especially in handy when you want a specific rotation and be able to repeat that rotation consistently, uh, such as when you're running multiple nights on the same target. So let's go over to my computer and I'm going to show you how to connect it. And I'm going to show you how to use it in another video when we go over framing. So let's go ahead to my computer and get started. So the first thing you want to do is bring up your favorite web browser and go to google.com. And as always, there is a prerequisite, and that's ASCOM. So if you haven't downloaded ASCOM yet, please go ahead and do that now, as you're going to need it. I'm going to include a link to the ASCOM website in the description of this video as well as my video going over how to install ASCOM. So if you need a tutorial video, please go ahead and watch that. And as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. You can comment on this video or you can uh, send me an email, hiddenlightinquiries at gmail.com. And if you haven't done so yet and you've been following along or you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, if you have ASCOM, we can go ahead and get started. And what you want to do is go to google.com. And we're going to type in Pegasus Astro. And if you don't see it pop up, just continue typing until you see it. And then we're going to go down to pegasusastro.com. And I'll put a, a link to this website as well in the description of the video. And what you want to do is go to download Unity. And this is the link that you want right here. This is just the operation instructions. And I already have this installed, so I'm not going to do it again. But what you're going to do is click on this link, Unity Platform. And depending on your system, uh, you'll have a downloads box in the top right corner, which looks like this. And you'll see the Unity Platform downloading. And once it's done, you'll go ahead and open file. And then you may or may not get a box here that asks if you want the application to make changes to your device. If you get that, go ahead and click yes, and then follow the install wizard, and then you'll have the Unity platform on your computer. Now, the um, next thing that you're gonna do, and part of the install wizard is um, adding a shortcut on the desktop, and that looks like this. You're going to double click on that and then it'll bring up your Unity platform which looks like this. And you'll see your Falcon Rotator and then what you'll do is click on that and it'll bring up your dashboard. Now there's one thing that I would recommend doing and that is under Go To, go ahead and set a, degree, a target degree and hit go. And then what you wanna make sure of is if it says that it's moving clockwise, make sure that it's physically moving clockwise. Now I can tell you that when I did this, it said that it was moving clockwise. In fact, it was physically moving anti-clockwise. Now that doesn't mean that your uh, rotator is broken or bad. Uh, all that you have to do in that case is under Rotator Profile, under Reverse, click On. Now, you'll notice here that there's two different shades on two different parts of this dial. And what that means is if you choose a degree, let's just, for example, just because this is where it's at, zero degrees. If we choose a degree anywhere in here, it's going to move clockwise from this position. If we choose a degree anywhere in here, it's going to move anti-clockwise. For example, let's go to 15 and we'll see it moving clockwise. Now let's choose uh, 345 right here and it's gonna move anti-clockwise.
Now the split here, this is where it determines the distance that it should move to avoid tangling cables. Now, as with anything uh, cable related in this hobby, always watch your cables. There's never a guarantee you could have something routed incorrectly and it can still get caught. Always watch your cables. Um, but these are the limits for uh, those sections. Now, I'm going to give you an example here. Now, we're going to go to 210 degrees. Now, notice how it's moving clockwise now. It was at 345. It was a shorter distance to go anti-clockwise. But because it was in this section and it would have crossed this threshold, it's going to come around clockwise. And the reason is it doesn't want to over-rotate thus increasing chances of a cable snag. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that right there. I'm going to have it go back to zero degrees. But uh, I thought that was a fun fact. Uh, so it doesn't, uh, you know, reduces the chances of snagging cables. So if you notice um, that you're at 210 degrees, and you command it to go to 225 degrees, even though it's a lot shorter to go this way, you know, continue on clockwise, and it starts going anti-clockwise to get there. That's why. There's nothing wrong with your rotator. So I just wanted to demonstrate that really quick. So let's go ahead and exit out of this. And we're going to bring up Nina. We're going to go to Equipment, Rotator, and then we're going to go, um, we're going to check our driver and you'll see a few of them in here. What we want is Pegasus Astro Falcon. Now this next step is extremely important. If you don't follow this step now, uh, you'll never get it to connect. We're going to go to settings and now we have to tell it what we're connecting to. In this case, it's the Falcon rotator and that's it. Now we can go ahead and connect it to Nina and now Nina has full control. General rule of thumb to follow if you have to click reverse on in the Unity platform you're going to want to click reverse on in Nina as well. And now Nina has full control. Notice is moving, it's X. We're going to move mechanical position. Now it's checked. Here's the mechanical position. Now we're at 10. Now we can go back to zero. And we'll see it count down. And that's all it takes to connect your Pegasus Astro Falcon Rotator to Nina. And then the next video, we're going to go over how does this come into play and how to use it to actually frame an object. Now, as always, just like a computer, you want to shut down correctly. You never just want to exit out of Nina. What you want to do is um, disconnect from your equipment. Disconnect rotator. Okay. And now it's safe to exit out of Nina as long as any other equipment that you have in here is disconnected as well. So I hope you found that useful. Um, or helpful and if so please like and subscribe if you have any questions please ask I always encourage questions if I didn't explain something thoroughly enough please ask it's not going to offend me if you tell me that I didn't explain something thoroughly enough or you have questions about something that I explained so you can comment in the video you can send me an email hiddenlightinquiries at gmail.com other than that until the next video clear skies